Hello and welcome to Kingston Now. I'm Jimmy Buff. This week we're going to take a look at two area festivals happening this month. One is a relatively new art, music, and wellness event called O Positive, and later in the show we'll talk with one of its founders. First though, it's Woodstock Film Festival time and with us now is founder Miera Blaustein. Hi Miera. Hi Jimmy, how are you? Thirteen years this year for the Woodstock Film Festival. Did you think it was going to last this long when you started it? I tell you Jimmy, when we first started we didn't think at all. I mean, we were just. <laughs> We just threw ourselves into it and just did it. We had no idea what was to come and how long this would last and how much it will grow, which it did. Well, sometimes that's actually not a bad idea is to not think beyond the initial event. Yes. Because if you had to see what you know now, <laughs> Maybe you might not have done it, right? Most likely we would not have done it, yes. What were the early days of the film festival like? How did it begin? Um, well, you know, it became... It began with a dream, really. I mean, I th we wanted to do a film festival. There's a co-founder to the festival, Lauren Trejo. And we wanted to do a film festival in the Hudson Valley, and we didn't even know where. The idea to do it in Woodstock came as the whole picture of the film festival just began to form. And we brought it to Woodstock without knowing anybody or anything. And just after meeting a few people and realizing how much just telling them that we want to do a film festival in Woodstock and people thought, oh my God, what a great idea. If Albert Grossman was still alive, he would have loved it. So it just became, it just began to form very quickly in a very organic way. There was no money at all. It was totally based on volunteers and in-kind contributions. Volunteers came just directly. I remember one of them came from um, Calcutta, she just volunteered uh, with Mother Teresa organization and she came to the Woodstock Film Festival. She had no idea how to use a computer, she didn't know much about film, but they loved the idea, they came on board and it just, um, it was just uh, this train that became, you know, turning very, very quickly and before you knew it, didn't only leave the gate, it arrived into a destination in a way that none of us have ever dreamt of. And now it's this full-on four-day festival taking place, October five-day five festival, <laughs> starting on October 10th and yes. running through the 14th. Yes. And just, I mean, dozens and dozens of films. You have big stars who come up. You honor big stars with awards. It's an extraordinary growth. How is that um, translated for you as one of the co-founders? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty miraculous what has been happening. As I said in the beginning, it was just so organic and you just threw yourself into it without knowing what will become of it. And then so quickly, it became such an important film festival. It has, it's considered one of the top 50 film festivals worldwide. Filmmakers from all over the country and the world are trying very hard to be a part of the festival. Um, and so many celebrities have come through our gates in the past few, 13 years. It's, it's really sort of hard to fathom if you look at the history of the festival, anywhere from people like Keanu Reeves to Tim Robbins to Steve Buscemi to Uma Thurman to, to uh, Marsha Gay Harden and, and some of the best directors also, people like Bruce Beresford and, and Jonathan Demme and, and um, um, oh my God, Richard Linklater, all of a sudden I'm, I'm blanking on names, but uh, we just had really amazing array of uh, all types of directors and musicians. Peter Grable, I remember, came one of these years and, the, and he, just, he was just such a great, nice person and um, very, very unassuming. And that's kind of the, 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 the two things that happen at a film festival and the Woodstock Film Festival isn't any different, is that there are people who've made films and they want them to be seen. Hopefully yes. they'll be picked up by a bigger distributor and be seen by right. more people. And then there's the aspect of the people in the area who get to come see the films. So you can buy tickets, the public can buy tickets to the film Oh, festival, absolutely. Right? They not, they, not only that they can buy tickets to the films, and just about 99% of the films have the filmmakers there so they can in, uh, see the Q&A and, and, and talk to them after the film is over, but they can see them in the cafes, on the streets, in the parties, and just talk to them. Like I said, it's a very friendly atmosphere, and it's actually quite unique at the Woodstock Film Festival because we, we take such care at not having a class system here. You've got a, a full slate of films lined up for this year's festival. We're going to take a look at one of the, a clip from one of them and, and go to break and come back and talk more about the film festival. Okay. The, the clip we're going to look at right now is from a film called Nor'easter. Can you set it up a little bit? Yes, it's a film that was shot, first of all, in the Hudson Valley in Orange County, to be exact. And it takes place in the winter. It's very, very cold in the film, Nor'easter. Nor I mean, the, the title says it. Um, it's about this uh, yoga retreat um, in one of the sort of mansions, big places in, in Orange County, um, and all those participants uh, get trapped in, uh, in a storm. And what happens between them, um, 
the way they learn not only about relationship but also about each other and themselves and their relationship to uh, their practice of yoga it becomes very um, intricate and uh, revelatory and you become really exposed to inner thoughts and relationship and um, some of them are sort of kind of scary and the other are really beautiful and uh, by the way the cinematography, cinematography in the film as you'll see in a clip is amazing and the film is nominated for uh, Best Cinematography at the Woodstock Film Festival which is judged by Haskell Wexler, Wexler who is one of the best cinematographers like ever. So it's a beautiful film. Let's take a look. My son was kidnapped five years ago. Ellen wants us to move on. But that is not going to happen. Do you understand? Josh is alive. We were everywhere. You knew we were looking for you. Why now? I can look at you, you're so big. I'd like to take you in tomorrow to see that police officer again. You can tell him whatever you want to say. Where have you been? Ich esse nur jüdisches Essen. Ich bin so geblieben, wie ich war. Alle sind ein bisschen modern geworden. Man isst alles. Ich nie. Ich war zwölf Jahre, wo der Krieg ausgebrochen ist. Mit 14 Jahren war ich schon in Lager. Und 18 Jahre bin ich raus aus dem Lager. Wann sollte ich lernen? Welchen Stein wir angucken? und lesen, die alle Leute kennen wir. Alexa, komm mal her. Hast du schon so was Schönes gesehen? <lacht> weißt du, was mir vorgeht? Crazy. A little bit crazy, a little bit. Lustot, lustot, lechein. Welcome back to Kingston Now. This week we're talking about the 13th annual Woodstock Film Festival happening October 10th through the 14th. And with us again is festival founder Miera Blaustein. And Miera, coming back from commercial, we showed a clip from Uma and Bella, one of the films screening this year at the Woodstock Film Festival. What's the selection process like? You have to you get selections from filmmakers and you have to whittle that number down, I assume. Yes, absolutely. Actually, Uma uh, and Bella was a submission. We have, the way we program the festival is just really in a, different, in a multitude of ways. One, one of which is that we get thousands of submissions from all over the country and the world and we have to sift through all of them and we have a lot of different screeners and we make sure that every film gets at least what I call three eyeballs, meaning at least three screeners see each film right uh, their evaluations, uh, give grades and also write comments and we go through all of it and discuss. 
Uh, then we go scouting for films. We go to different film festivals all over the country and, and the world. We also meet with a lot of filmmakers. We go to special screenings and we just keep tabs on what's out there. And so like putting all of this into the mix and then little by little, it's a very long and slow process trying to evaluate which film, um, I mean really by, by merit, you judge it by merit. But then there's so many other factors that go into place. I mean, if there's five films about Afghanistan and they're all good, well, I'm gonna show only one of them, which one? of this we're gonna show. If there are five films about, I don't know, Kingston, um, which film do we wanna show by its merit and also which director do we wanna support? Maybe this director is very up and coming and could really use our support. And even though his film maybe or her film is not necessarily the best, but I, we see the potential in the, in the work and we would like to give them the support so that they can continue doing uh, more work and grow with it. So, I mean, that's some of the factors that go into place, but um, we judge by, we, we try to find the passion behind the film. Of course, the subject matter, does it appeal to our audience? Uh, do, we see, do we see production value? Do we see um, a visionary approach? Is there something very unique about it? So all of these factors and so much more go into everything that we view and, and try to you know, think about. Now it's called the around. Woodstock Film Festival. Yes. But it takes place in other communities around Woodstock, including Kingston. Absolutely, yes. Well, Rosendale. Uh, Rosendale, mm -hmm. um, Rhinebeck. Um, this year we're also in Saugerties. We're doing an, a big event in Saugerties. And uh, like you mentioned, we do an event each year in Kingston, uh, our award ceremony, which is one of our most important um, events that the festival is held each year in uh, Kingston. So, I mean, Yes, it's the Woodstock Film Festival, but it really does serve the whole Hudson Valley region. And again, we'll, we'll reiterate that the public can come see the films, but they need to get their tickets because films do sell out, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, really go to the website woodstockfilmfestival.com and just check out the, the lineup and order your tickets because yes, some of the bigger films sell out before you know it. I mean, at times we, we would, op we would uh, open the box office and the film would sell out within minutes. So do check them out. However, I do also want to add that uh, when, even though it says a film is, is sold out, that means that the, you can just come and wait in a standby line. There is a standby line for each film. So that's something really important to remember, actually. And also, if a film sells out, there's so many other great films to choose from. Don't let that discourage you. Come, take it all in. There's so many great films and concerts and panels and parties and people come and have a wonderful time. It's a week away. You think you'll get any sleep between now and next Wednesday when it starts? Uh, what do you mean? What is it? <laughs> sleep? I don't know. I, what does that mean, sleep? I forget. You'll sleep when it's <laughs> over. Don't worry. Thanks for being here, Miera. Uh, thanks for having me. This is Kingston Now. Next up, it's the O Positive Festival, an art, music, and wellness event happening this weekend in Uptown Kingston. Stay tuned. You're watching Kingston Now. Three years ago, an idea was born. Doctors who love music and the arts would provide health care for a weekend for artists and musicians who needed it. The festival is named O Positive, and with us now is one of the founders, Joe Conkra. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jimmy. Three years. Did you think you'd make it this far? Let's talk on October 9th. <laughs> you haven't quite yet, right? <laughs> Still have a little time to go. Well, the, the idea of O Positive is a good one, but I'm going to let you explain it for people who are just discovering the idea, even sure. though this is the third year. Mm -hmm. Tell me about O Positive. Sure. So over three days, um, Columbus Day weekend, we bring in about 100 music-loving, art-loving doctors and healthcare providers. And then we bring in 40 bands this year and 41 artists. To, and the bands will play throughout the whole Uptown Kingston neighborhood and all the venues. And all the artists will put their art up on the walls. It'll be paste-up art like we've done in the past. It'll also be projections and installations. We'll even have some film this year. And also this year we're having a public health expo. So all of that takes place. And instead of paying the artists and musicians with dollars, we are bartering with them for healthcare access. So we build a clinic in the Kirkland Hotel, and we staff it full of doctors and the artists and musicians, one of which you'll meet soon, um, come and play and get health access. And the idea was born because uh, uh, there was a doctor who was hearing about musicians and artists, am I correct? In yeah. That? And, and people don't realize that, you know, at the top end of the performing arts, those folks can afford health care. Right. But if you're a working musician, someone who is, you know, just out traveling around and touring, you often can't afford health care despite health care reform. You know, most people can't afford health care with or without 
healthcare reform at this point. And I can tell you that a lot of the stuff that we give access to is stuff that isn't covered even if you have a Cadillac health plan. Um, the dental that we offer, that we get wonderful three dentists this year who are providing dental care for musicians and artists, that is never covered under anybody's insurance. Um, a lot of our demographics, since they're young musicians and artists, a lot of it's massage or acupuncture, um, chiropractic work, all of those things are not covered by health care insurance. So, you know, we're not healthcare insurance, but we're a health access point for the community. And you want the public to come see the art and see the music, don't you? Yes. $25 gets you a wristband, and it's a suggested donation for the whole weekend. So at any venue for the weekend, you can walk up and get your Red Hospital O positive wristband, and that gains you access to, as I said, 40 musical performances, uh, 40 art events, and uh, even a public health expo. The event kicks off, I believe, what, 6 o'clock Friday evening? 6 o'clock Friday evening at the corner of Clinton and Main Street, the Kirkland Hotel, and there'll be a very large parade led by a band out of Brooklyn, an 18-piece band called the Hungry March Band, um, and a whole bunch of puppets from the puppeteers across the river who do the big Halloween parade uh, in New York City. And just everybody will be there marching through the streets, and the city of Kingston actually this year will block off the streets for us so we don't just take it over and cause a public nuisance. And that's new, uh, not, well relatively new, is that you've got some really great cooperation from the city and the county this year. Not that they were opposed to it and, uh, you know, when it began, but they're right. really stepping up. Right, well we're all volunteer driven and we're all, we're very, I mean this all developed around the kitchen table. So, you know, when people make the move to do things on their own, a lot of times it, it may take people to realize what they're doing and how effective it can be. We're more effective than I thought we would be. And I think the city and the county now see that this brings tourism to the, to the neighborhood, and it's a good thing. And they, they've been really, really supportive this year. And you have some sponsors on board, too. I know that HealthQuest has come on board this year. HealthQuest is on board this year, and they're a great sponsor. And they've been really, really helpful, not only with helping the fund of the festival, because one thing I'm learning is I never knew barter would be so expensive. Um, <laughs> to put on a free festival costs money. <laughs> it costs a lot more than you would think. Yeah. Um, and WDST is a great sponsor this year, Evolving Media Network, um, Chronogram. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anybody, um, the big sponsors, Terrapin Restaurant. Um, so it's, it's really kind of a wonderful thing to see everybody sort of saying like, okay, this works, we've seen it for two years, now we really want to help you make this happen. One of the uh, great events, or the beginning after the parade, is going to be a great concert happening at the Old Dutch Church Friday night starring yeah. the Felice Brothers and Richard Buckner, who is a terrific artist. Richard is here with us in, at Kingston Now. We're going to hear him play live, hear his story when we come back. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. This is Kingston Now. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Kingston Now. This Friday and Saturday and Sunday is the O Positive Festival in Uptown Kingston, and one of the 40 acts performing is Richard Buckner. Hi, Richard. Hi. Now, you've been making music for 20 years. You've got records going back to, I think, you first came out in 1994. Mm -hmm. You've been on major record labels, and here you sit with no health care. How does that happen? Um, I'm a, you know, an American who makes about as much money as anybody else, and um, health care is not affordable for most people who make uh, the average income. And even if you can get it, it keeps going up, things aren't covered, and it becomes kind of a, a shell game of why am I even trying to do this? And yet you're a working musician, mm -hmm. you're out making music and traveling the country mm -hmm. still, and, and performing your art. And so this weekend's O Positive Festival, something like this, must be a pretty cool thing. It's amazing. I, I can't wait for my dental appointment. And I, <laughs> I, I never thought I'd say that, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's a very lucky thing. I went to the first one years ago when they first did it, and uh, it seemed like such a great thing, and I'm glad I'm in town this time to do it. You're an extraordinary artist. You're loved by your fans and critics alike. Would you pleasure us with a song? Thank you. Yeah, I will. This is called uh, Collusion from my last record, Our Blood. It was a chance you took Everything was good To you and back inside for a second look, I'm holding out your hand. Did you understand? Crossing all those lines and crawling back. Slipping from your skin, you couldn't keep it in. Sound as you wind around in another sound You missed your turn Slowing down Curling the rock
rocks beyond their grave, leaving the rest to find their way. The tempered tribe, they rush to hide, already gone, with no goodbyes, locked up and out of key. You hear them sing the distant songs with familiar rain. Learn you out until you could. Remember the chance you took. Richard Buckner on Kingston Now. The song is Collusion. The new record is called Out of Blood. It's uh, available. Our Blood. Our Blood, I'm sorry. Uh, available for Merge Records. And we're going to see you on Friday night at the Old Dutch Church in Uptown Kingston. Now, you're a Kingston resident these days. You've been to the church before, right? No. Oh, it's an extraordinary Walked place. past it, but uh, I'm not, I didn't, didn't think I was allowed in. <laughs> well, you're allowed in and welcome this Friday night. Great. It's an extraordinary place to play and to see someone like you perform. So we're looking forward to that. Thank you. That's it for this week's show. Thanks to Miera Blaustein of the Woodstock Film Festival, happening October 10th to the 14th. Check out the schedule of events and films at woodstockfilmfestival.com. Thanks also to Joe Conqueror of the O Positive Festival. Find out more about them at opositivefestival.org. And for more about the music of Richard Buckner, go to richardbuckner.com. Remember, all of our shows are archived on our YouTube channel, and you can find that link on our Facebook page. For Kingston Now, I'm Jimmy Buck. See you next time. <laughs>